so today I'm gonna be making like a blonde and dark brown wig. This is my 26 inch bundle. I've already dyed it. This is gonna be the brown. This is the 24, same color. And then I did a 24, I did, oh. The 24, I kind of did it half and half. I did half of it this color and half of it this color. And this is the closure. And it has some different blonde tones in it. So the way I'm gonna do it, I really feel like it's gonna turn out really pretty. I'm kinda excited about this one, so. I'm gonna make the wig on camera. It's just gonna be like a watch me work type of video. It's not really gonna be a tutorial because I've already did a five by five lace closure wig tutorial. So this will just be like a watch me work type of video. So keep watching. Um, if you're wondering about the details of this particular unit, it's a four by four lace closure wig unit. Um, it is glueless, you can take it off, put it on. Um, it is a 14 inch wig. So I did two bundles of 14 inch curly from Anna Lux and a 16 inch lace closure. Um, and I did like an ombre effect with the wig. Um, when did I make this wig? It's been some months. Kind of wear it like on and off. This is like my go-to wig when I don't feel like styling any of my other wigs. So yeah, this that's the details. Um, you can purchase this wig at www.beautyxavi.net. And go to the Fab Units tab, and you will find this wig. It's really pretty. The curls are still. This the hair is completely dry, so it doesn't look all matted and all crazy. So, yeah. If you watched my tutorial on how to make a five by five lace closure wig unit, you would know that the first step that I'm doing is pinning down the back of the stone cap. If you have not watched the tutorial, I would suggest that you do because as I said before, this is not a tutorial. This is just a watch me work video. I have already pinned down the lace closure on where I want it to be. So now all I'm doing is sewing on those tracks. The construction is now complete, so we can go ahead and move on to the next step. Time to go ahead and cut out that extra piece of dome cap. This is one of my favorite steps because it just means you finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. It means you're almost done. She's looking a little scary right now, I'm not gonna lie, but just wait till you see the finished product. Right now, I'm just adjusting it to make sure everything is in place before I start parting and plucking.
so what I'm about to do now is wet the hairline with some wrapping foam. I'm doing that because I'm about to pluck it. It just makes it easier to pluck. And I am molding it as well, just killing two birds with one stone. So now that I am done plucking, I am going to go ahead and make sure that my part is aligned and I'm about to go ahead and grab this hot comb and go ahead and lay everything down, make everything flat, just make it look beautiful.
the finished product and I am in like I love it. It turned out just how I wanted it to. I just want to thank you guys for tuning into this video if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and also in the comments let me know what you guys want to see me do next i would also like to say that i'm aware that the hair that i sell is a bit on the expensive side but here's why as you can see the quality is just amazing it's beautiful it's gorgeous the luster is there it takes very well to bleach, color, anything like that. Just trust me, guys. You will not regret it. Thanks again for tuning in, and I will see you guys in the next video.